All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to do some surveying work. Uh, in fact, just drawing up some surveying work. So let's start by looking at units. I'm going to use decimal units, and instead of inches, we're going to move to feet because it's going to be pretty big. And we're going to use surveyor's units for the angles, which you'll see how that works in a minute. I'll hit OK. The other thing we'll want to have is some layers. I set up some layers already. Work, boundary, building. Uh, in fact, the building one, let's change the line type. I just left clicked on that. Instead of a solid line, let's use a dashed one. Let's see. I think the border, probably a big border like border times two would work pretty well. And I'll select that by clicking on it once and hit OK. So then everything I draw in that layer will be blue and with that border type boundary. So I'll double click there to set that as my as my active layer. And we'll start drawing. Just as an example, let's do a, let's do a quick line. I'll just type in line start someplace and we're going to use you can see in the screen there where it says polar a distance and then the angle is north zero degrees west so this is just like the point to the compass north is up and in fact it doesn't I found it doesn't work very well with uh, dynamic input on so I'll click that off that's an F12 if you're doing shortcuts so now we have to type in the at symbol keep it in relative coordinates and let's just do uh, let's do 50 feet and then angle you'll see me typing down the bottom of the box here angle north I hit enter and I get a line going 50 feet north do the same thing just type it again at 50 feet and this time I'm going to do angle east and it kind of goes around pretty easily do the same thing at 50 angle south and then I can type close and there's a box I went all the way around the points of the compass alright so far so good we'll get rid of that and then we'll do this for real I thought I selected objects down for good alright So working off my notes here, let's get started. Start with a line. First point, I'll just pick anything. It doesn't really matter. And the next point is going to be 102. Whoops. I need to put the at symbol in there. 102.374 feet at an angle of north. 12.370 degrees west. I hit enter and it goes up in that kind of northwesterly direction. I use the middle mouse button, drag it down a little bit. Next point, I'm just typing this in at 87.967 at an angle of north 75.559. Hit enter. It goes in that direction. I just keep typing. At 93.731 feet. Type in the angle. I lost where I was. 26. That's tw an angle of south. 26.982 east. And then the next one is at 74.329 at an angle of south 49.62, oops, I mistyped, 628 west. We have to move down a little bit, middle mouse button, and hold and drag. My last one should actually close right over there. We'll see if it does. Uh, but I had at 50.111 feet, angle 
north 78.792. And I must have done something wrong. Oh, I know, I forgot the west. At 50.111 feet. Angle north 78. Can't type 78.792 west. All right, and there it is. Let's zoom in and see how close it got. Looks like it hit it pretty well, didn't it? I guess we'll go with that. I'd enter to get out of that tool and do a zoom extents. And there's the layout of our lot. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and add the text labels to these corners of the lots. Uh, I think probably I should do a style for that, right? So let's make a new text style and I'll make the text probably five feet high. So let's call it, uh, let's just call it five feet. Okay, and we'll type this in as five. Hit apply. Close, so that's our active active thing right now. Probably a good idea to make a new level too, to, or a new layer to put that on. So let's call it text and we'll make that the regular old where is it? Text color two fifty five, is that the right one? What's this one? White. Okay, let's do it that way then. I try not to get confused. Make it white and continuous. Yep, that looks good. So let's make that our active layer and get into the drawing. Move out of the way layer thing. Then we can draw a text single line text start point about right there call it B1 whoops I gotta hit hit enter B1 there's one of them there's two and what I'm doing is just clicking and typing so I click once B3 click once B4 and one more time down here for B5. So there's my points. Get out of the text tool. So those are the corners of my lot that I have surveying data on here. Sorry about the wildly moving around. Let's call that good for this video and uh, we'll start messing with the boundaries and stuff in the next one.